we finally have the autoload trailer for the pallets coming up. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22 on No Man's Land. The snow is arriving as we've hit December. We've got a huge amount of stock to sell. But I'm not wanting to sell it all yet. I'm trying now to sell them all at the best possible price. So I've been looking at, through the uh, prices. What they'll pay me at the shop. And I want to make sure I get the best amount possible. Because I want to get towards around 200,000. So we can build the rest of the town up. But as it's snowing today. There's not really much we can do. So I'm going to go inside. Stick the kettle on. Relax for the day. And enjoy Christmas. I'll see you all in January. It's January morning and the snow has definitely arrived on the farm. Can't even see Sam's paws. It's that deep. I call him Sam. The game calls him Robin. I call him Sam. Whoa, straight through the fence. Right, I may as well have a bit of fun, there's not really much to do on the farm, so I'm going to jump on the lizard and see how this can handle the snow. See if we can get used to our drifting skills. Needs a lot of work. Glad I bought this little thing though, it was again another item in the sale. 6,000. I'm going to drive it down to the second plot of farm. The production chain bit. Let's try another drift. It's not quite Gran Turismo, is it? Mm. Saved it. Lost it. Saved it and spun out. Yeah, it's not quite Gran Turismo 7, but... There's not much to do, like I say, on the farm when it's snowing. You normally end up just doing stuff like this, drifting about, breaking things. Get that though, parked to perfection. I think the sheep are running out of food as well, so I need to get these fed. I should have saved a bit. A little error by me. Not I can't cut the grass now either, so I'll have to go down to the shop and get them a bale. Which will cost me about 800 can't cut the grass in winter unfortunately so I'll go and take this back have a few more bits of drifting get this back and then we'll go and get them fed The snow's slowly moving away now as we get to February. We've got through another winter. Nice little Christmas, actually. Just looking down at the weather, minus three today, but March is going to pick up 17 degrees. Looking at how much everything is worth. I've got so much to sell. Furniture, clothing. Let's have a look at... Honey's gone up in March so that's going to be next month's at the highest for honey lettuce we're at the highest probably now so we can sell that furniture I'll wait till June and last but not least oh it's a bit further up actually and it closed and coming past it earlier yep close April we could probably sell them now but if we hold on to April we'll get a little bit more want to get as much as possible 
So there we go. I finally got one of these auto load trailers. Makes my loading a whole lot neater. Hopefully you watch my video on a few things about it. If you didn't, obviously you can't mix products as I went through on that video. So we've got to do one thing at a time, but that doesn't really bother me. The snow has just reappeared again. It started settling. So what I'm going to do is fill up with all these lettuce, get these down to the shop and that will be the first batch sold. And then we'll wait till either next month or the one after and we'll sell all our clothes and hopefully we'll break the £150,000 barrier get towards 200000 so I'm just going to nip round the back of the farm to get the rest of the lettuce and get these down first and then we'll probably take the eggs look at what the eggs are worth I think it's time to sell those don't want to get too close to anything so it starts picking up because I'll lose all my produce so luckily the farm's laid out pretty well that I can pick everything up you do have to kind of angle it a little bit to get them all. That seems to be doing it again. But it's a lot better. I've still kept my forklift because I need it for the bales and the um, for the second farm. For the sheep. Picking up the wool. Picking up the fabric. Picking up the clothes. It just, uh, it just saves me a lot of time having to move the forklift backwards and forwards. Because that did become a bit of a pain moving it from one farm to another and they are expensive I think they're about 30,000 40,000 pound for a forklift so they're not cheap but we are on minus 5,000 because we've had a really good Christmas a few expensive bottles of whiskey I got a 18 year Dalmore it was absolutely delicious This channel's really making it look like I like a drink and a gamble, which is not good. Let's get the rest of this down to the shop, get it sold and see what we can get for all this produce today. This does handle in the snow pretty well, unlike the, the little... I still don't know, can't remember what they're called. Let me know what they're called. Why can I not remember? It didn't handle very well in the snow. Well, this thing's an absolute beast. I think the, the obviously the weight helps, and I've got my class one license, so I know how to deal with snow and driving big machinery like this in snow. Because I do it all day. Let's get this down to the shop. Oh, watch out, dear! Dearie me.
I'm going to load up the eggs ready for the big sale. We just took the uh, lettuce down, got ourselves back up to 34,000. On the next episode, we're going to do the big sale, which will be all the eggs, which should be some more by the time we get to sell them, because it'll be around April, May time. All the eggs, all the furniture, the rest of the lettuce that is done, literally everything. And then we can welcome to the farm the residents, the pub, the the town will finally be built it's took us what what will it be then 25 episodes we started with nothing and we finally got no man's land back up to a proper nice running town nice little village so i'll see you on the next one the big episode the one where we bring back humanity see you later